Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do a practice example on probability density function. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what's continuous probability distribution, why we call it as probability density function. Please watch that class and come back here. For better understanding, we are doing this example. It's very, very simple example. So, coming to today's example, a function f of x is defined as follows f of x equal to 0 if x less than 2 f of x equal to 1 by 18 2x plus 3 if x is between 2 and 4 f of x equal to 0 if x greater than 4 so what they are going to ask is show that the function f of x is a probability density function we discussed in our last class if you if you want to accept your function as a probability density function it should satisfy some conditions integral of in minus infinity to infinity f of x dx should equal to 1 the area under the curve should be 1 then only we can accept it as a probability density function so that's why the for practice examples we are doing one find the probability and the second question is find the probability p of 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 means 2 to 3 they are going to ask you the probability value what is the probability value you are going to get for the limit 2 to 3 now coming to the solution part so we need to if you want to show it as probability density function minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 that uh, uh, if it is equal to 1 we can accept it as probability density function so this can be written as minus infinity to 2 because our function is given in three parts it exists uh, from less than 2 it exists in one way 2 to 4 it exists in another way and greater than 4 it exists in in uh, some other way so integral of minus infinity to 2 0 dx plus 2 to 4 1 by 18 2 x plus 3 dx plus 4 to infinity 0 dx so these values uh, these two we don't need to consider zero values we have to integrate this part integral of 2 to 4 1 by 8 if you take it out outside integral of 2 to 4 2x plus 3 dx so you know the basics of integration if you are not good at integration please watch our mathematics plus 1 plus 2 mathematics uh, playlist then come back here so integral of 2x plus 3 dx can be given as uh, 2x plus 3 is given as x square plus 3x how we got this uh, to x square if you differentiate it you will get 2x 3 if you differentiate it, uh, 3x if you differentiate it uh, we are getting 3 so that is how integral values will come so x square plus 3x uh, if you substitute 4 and 2 in this this is how we find so substitute 4 minus substitute 2 that is the area value which you get uh, if you substitute 4 and 2 here 4 substitute 4 when you substitute 4 you will get 28 minus uh, when you substitute 2 you will get 10 28 minus 10 which is 18 18 by 18 which is equal to 1 so the area under that function is equal to 1 so you can accept this function as probability density function now this coming to the second question you have to identify the uh, area between 2 to 3 f of x dx equal to 1 by 18 x square plus 3x limit values are 2 to 3 so 1 by 18 18 minus 10 that is equal to 8 by 18 that is equal to 4 by 9 this is this is the probability value under the limits 2 to 3 this is how we identify the probability values for the continuous probability distribution functions hope you understand you got some good idea about uh, continuous probability distribution probability density function if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates Thank you.